Hello, everyone. It is indeed Monday, February 29th in the year of our Lord 2016. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, yes, wicked I, awesome. I, I, it only happens once a year, and once every four years, leap year. Me from going insane. Cause you know beer is good for you. You hot to be dog damn right it is. Folks, I'm excited. Like I said, it only happens once every four years. Leap year, National Leap Day. Yay! Once every four years, the Lila Leap Year. Yep, so this is a very special day, National Leap Day, and of course it is Scruffy. Yep, I have the combination of Shadow and Patches. Yeah, you do, pretty much. A rare Disease Day USA, last day in February. Well, this year it's February 29th, folks. So there you go. Beer is good for you. Yep, beer is good for you. Don't you the size of the Yes. Okay. All right, well, folks. How about some unofficial sponsors of our show? Our first ever unofficial sponsor of the show was actually uh, coffee that our dear friend Lorelai De La Lune, um, she used to be involved in selling coffee. She's moved up in the world, folks. Lorelai, love you, girl. Former guest co-hostess on Beer and Song of the Day, one of our early ones. Uh, multiple real babe of the day on Beer and Song of the Day, an absolute legend, a very dear friend of mine that I know from jolly old England. Just moved to Colorado from Wyoming. Yeah, from one square state to another. Hey, you're a square, Lorelai. Love you, girl. Great hair from you. And, uh, yeah, Lorelai de la Lune, folks. Add her on the old Facebook, the Modern Day Maryland, and tell her I sent you, okay? I only want good people to add my friends. All right, I'm busting out the official Love Doctor Beard Song of the Day, Wicked Awesome Beer Consumption Apparatus by my good friends, creator over at Philo Liquors, the best damn place, the great, great quality adult beverages down here in Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas, no doubt about it. The best customer service you're ever going to find. No question about it. They're awesome. If they don't have it, they will try to get it for you. Oh, yeah, it's up to distribution, of course. It would be an absolute crime if I didn't mention my good friends over at Prosper. My good friend Justin Dimmitt, commander of Big... Uh, uh, Captain Big McClyde, huge, rather. Hey, he was a commander when he started. He's moved up to Captain. Captain Big McClyde, huge, over at Prosper. Facebook.com slash LLA Prosper, all one word. Go check it out. You'll love it. I promise you that. And then a big congratulations to my good friend, Rich Strasberg, and his awesome friends, um... Tyler Stigall, and of course, occasionally, our good friend George Sekman of Exotic Japan. Um, on the network, they just hit 100 likes. Thank you to our good friend Lisa Shrewsbury. Lisa, way to go, girl. Way to represent. Folks, on the network, I broke my podcast, Cherry. I shared it on my personal page. I'll share it on the uh, Beer and Song of the Day page shortly. 101 likes we're up to now. And my good friend Justin Dimmitt over at Prosper. Um... Recording, Justin. Recording. Busy. Sorry, brother. You just made it on the air. Captain Big McLeod Huge. I will not have a moment of silence on Thursday. I don't want to do that. It's Thursday's going to be a very special show. I don't want it to be a negative in any way, shape, or form. Things can wait till Friday if necessary. So there's your answer, brother. All right. So on the network, go check them out, folks. Hey, you don't have to be a wrestling fan to appreciate on the network. They are phenomenal. But yeah, they do discuss primarily wrestling, and I love me some wrestling. Been a wrestling fan for well over 30 years, and uh, absolutely love it. All right, so our leap year beer of the day, Sam Adams Winter Lager. It's the best Sam Adams I got in the fridge, and uh, I love the Winter Lager. This stuff's amazing. Brewed with orange peel, cinnamon, and ginger, 5.6% alcohol by volume, above average in strength. Definitely above average of flavor. Probably opening up brass. Proper technique. Here we go. And right into the official Wicked Awesome Beer Consumption Apparatus. 45 degree angle. Right into the Beer Consumption Apparatus. Right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Have spilled drop yet. Never have. Never will. Once every four years, baby. Gotta make it special, right? Man. And just think, last time I did Beer and Song today on a February 29th. My show was a month and 12 days old. That's it. And they were shorter. They weren't very exciting back then. A lot of info nowadays. Cheer the best, all of you. Prost in Germany. Kapai, as they say in Japan. 
Ah, wow, big solid A right there. Awesome stuff. All right, folks, there's two birthdays for today. How about that? Two leap year babies that I'm friends with. One of them, I've known this man for over 30 years. This guy's incredible. A great man, a great family man, a great friend. Awesome guy. My man, Nelson Swartz. Nelson, happy birthday to you, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm sure you're having a phenomenal birthday. Isn't it nice to be able to celebrate your birthday on the day that it was meant to be celebrated on? Absolutely. Well, Nelson, always great to hear from you. Happy birthday, my friend. Miss you big time. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big hearty cheers and beers to you, my friend. The pride of Martha's Vineyard Island. The greatest island in the world. Greatest state in the nation, because without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an American period in the freaking story. All right. And the other birthday, my man Chuck Frederick, longtime friend of mine on the old Mafia Wars. We love playing words with friends together. And uh, Chuck, always a pleasure chatting with you. You're a great man. Awesome guy. Hope to meet you in person someday. Happy birthday to you. Again, the first time you get a celebrator on the proper date in four years. Awesome stuff. And uh, Chuck, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're celebrating in style. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Live it up, my friend. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big hearty cheers and beers to you, my man. All right. Check it out. We got ourselves a wedding anniversary. Yes, we do. They got married four years ago today. My man, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. A legendary badass leader of men, women, and this that I know from jolly old England. This guy's phenomenal. This guy's a hard-working badass member, Gemma. And a badass GNC posse member for life. Well, him and his wicked awesome gorgeous better half, Chris Tina Miller. I like that name, Chris Tina Miller. Awesome. So is it Chris or is it Christina and you had a little fun with the old Facebook? That's what I'm wondering. I have yet to meet you in person. I hope I get to someday. And Ben and Chris, happy anniversary to the two of you. Hey, is it one year or four years? I like the way you put that. That was awesome. You two, great pictures. I was looking through them. Such a happy couple. I love it. I wouldn't expect anything less. Hey, I'm Reverend Dr. B. I'm the love doctor. I know what I'm talking about. That's right. Well, Ben, Chris, happy anniversary to the two of you. From yours truly, the love Dr. Reverend Dr. B. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big hearty cheers and beers to the two of you. All right. With that said, folks, we had ourselves a trivia question. Nice and quick and easy. On December 29th, 1960, the first Playboy Club opened. What city did it open in? Well, my man, Mike Taylor, man, oh, man, the pride of Springfield, Illinois. No surprise you knew this. You said Chicago. Mike, absolutely wicked awesome job. Hell yeah. And to you, I give you the love got the salute. Oh, hell yeah. Way to go, Mike. Wicked awesome job, my man. You nailed it. You crushed it. Cheers and beers. Folks, yep, guess what? It's that time. Yep, it's that time, folks. Folks, it's time to announce this week's Fan of the Week winner. This week's Fan of the Week winner, what he did was, uh, I gave it away, I know, a he. Well, this legend um, shared every single show Shared every single album, every single day. Brought some new fans. This guy is awesome. We absolutely love him. Don't worry, I don't love you in that way. Don't get emotionally erect. Uh, yeah. He's a former real hug of the day on Beard and Song of the Day. Definitely won Fan of the Week numerous times. And folks, without further ado, this week's Fan of the Week winner is... As you know that man, George Sekman of Exotic Japan, a great man, a great family man, an awesome guy. A stud muffin. George, way to go, my man. Yes, the man that's been on On The Network before. He helps them out. He helps out Richard and uh, Tyler often. And it's him that helped me to become a member of the WWE Network. It's him that told me about On The Network. And George, brother, 
You earned it, man. Like Smith Barney, you made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. I give you the long back of salute. Ooh, hell yeah. Because, dude, you were the fan of the week winner. And on the announcement of February 29, 2016, if that ain't wicked awesome, I don't know what is. It's Méchant Janine, French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, get it then, dude. You gotta get some love that names up north and I do it on parent song of the day every single day of the week. Being an A. Alright, folks. You know what? Let's talk some quick additional shout outs. It's the right thing to do. Um, I got room for it. I wanna give a shout out to my man Damon Mon Lamartine. Dude, you and I were having a great conversation last night. Man, I'm telling you, we have got to meet in person someday. It's got to happen. You're a hell of a guy. And like me, a big-time Wicked Hardcore, legit No Bowl Twilight Zone fan. Yeah, buddy. You and your wicked awesome better half, Anna Crosby. She seems like an absolute sweetheart. She's absolutely gorgeous. Brother, you've done good, Pilgrim. You and I have had a wicked awesome life indeed. Or as James uh, Stewart's phenomenal 1946 classic, It's a Wonderful Life. And brother, we've definitely had that. No question about that. David Martin, great chatting with you last night. And Anna, I hope to get me, get to meet you and your awesome man, David Martin, in person. Someday it's got to happen. Hell yeah. Let's drink to that, shall we? Lisa Shrewsbury. What can I say? Like number 100. Thank you for your support. Because you support like a double D bra. Underwear. That's a point. Hey, Lisa, you're a former real baby today on Beard Song of the Day. Hell yeah. And hey, we'll have to make that happen again down the road. I think it's the right thing to do. So yeah, keep getting those pictures up there. We'll feature again soon enough. Hell yeah. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. John Peterson. Brother, little did I know. I didn't know you had didn't have your driver's license. I thought you did. Well, you wonderful gorgeous better half. Rebecca's been training you, treating you, uh, teaching you, teaching you the ropes on the art of driving. Well, see, I've been driving since January 4th, 1990. That's the day I got my license, and I still have a perfect driving record to this day. I'll tell you what, John, be careful out here in good old Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico, because, man, oh, man, these people don't know how to drive, and I've had Texas friends of mine tell me that. They're like, watch out for those Texas drivers, and they're from Texas. I admire the honesty. That's what friends are all about, being up, honest and up front. But John, Rebecca, I know you two love the blues, especially you, John. There's very few people I can talk with as in-depth when it comes to blues as I do with you. So, hey, John, congratulations. Rebecca, hell yeah, way to go. You two are an awesome couple. Cheers and beers to the two of you. All right, speed of driving. How about... Our vehicle instrument and pet of the day on Beer and Song of the Day, folks. Hey, look at that, will you? Antonio Sabato Jr.'s uh, race car. All right, so we hit a wall. Hey, he's more of an actor than he is a driver. What can I say? Hey, maybe he's a Texas driver. Ha! Ah, yeah, yeah, I went there. Um, I don't think so, but hey, when you're racing, you're going to wreck. I don't think I could ever race because I, I take so much pride in my driving that if I ever wrecked, I'd be so pissed off. I would. I'd be mad. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. I I mean, it'd be fun to race, though. It really would. So, but yeah, Antonio Sabato Jr.'s race car. That's your uh, vehicle of the day on Baron's Song of the Day. How about our um, instrument of the day? Hey, a microphone. Why not? Antonio Sabato Jr.'s microphone. All right, I know you ladies and you men love the men are drooling right now. Mm -hmm. Antonio Sabato Jr. There you go. His microphone, your instrument of the day on beer and song of the day. Hell yeah. Pet of the day. Oh, look at this dog with you. It's Antonio Sabato Jr.'s Rottweiler. Ooh, that's an awesome dog right there. And I know ladies and you men love the men. That's an awesome guy right there. Phenomenal actor, and I get it. He's easy on the eyes. Of course, I think all men are ugly, disgusting, and repulsive, but that's just me. So there you go. So that's your pet of the day. Uh, his Rottweiler, awesome stuff. Now, it's time for some music. And we're rolling it back to 1933 for today. Hey, John Peterson, I know you know who this is. He was only 19 years old. In fact, this song was recorded on his 19th birthday, January 16th, 1933. Buddy Moss, the late, great, badass... Um, heart blasting bastard Buddy Moss, an absolute blues icon. Buddy Moss, and the song is Bye Bye Mama. Here you go. 
as we feature our Hunk of the Day on Baron Sawyer today. He's a birthday boy. He was born February 29, 1972, and he's in his mantis right there. Antonio Sabato Jr. There you go. There's a, surprisingly, there's a lot of um, celebrities that were born February 29th. Dinah Shore, the lovely, amazing Dinah Shore. She was born on this day 100 years ago in 1916. She passed away at the age of 77, just short of 78 years old, in 1994. Um, Mark Foster, he's the one that created leader, lead singer of Foster the People. Yep, the band Foster the People. Not a bad song. Um, Mark Foster is 32 years old today. Tempest Storm. Lorelai De La Lune, you being a burlesque queen, you better know who Tempest Storm is. Because she has been a burlesque queen for over 60 years. She's getting close to 70 years. Although she retired in 1995 at the age of 67, she still performs on occasion uh, multiple times per year. And she's 88 years old today, Tempest Storm. Still performing, still going strong. She looks great for her age, she really does. Tempest Storm, 88 years old, unbelievable. This man right here, Antonio Zapato Jr., like I said, it's his birthday today, 44 years old. Awesome stuff. Um, Dennis Farron, a phenomenal actor, late great Dennis Farron, born this day in 1944. Passed away in 2013, the age of 69. Dave Williams of Drowning Pool. Let the body take the floor. Yeah, that song. Drowning Pool. Uh, he was born on this day in 1972, like, just like Antonio Zapata Jr. The difference is, drug overdose, died at the age of 30 in 2002. Folks, lay off the drugs. They do you no good. Uh, Giorgino Gio Rossini. The legendary art, um, composer Rossini. Yeah, that's why they don't use his first name. G-I-O-A-C-H-I-N-O. Giorgino Rossini. Born this day in 1792, passed away in 1868. Michelle Morgan, a French actress. Michelle Morgan, get this folks, 96 years old today. That deserves a love doctor salute. Oh, hell yeah! There you go, ladies, and you men who love the men. Antonio Zapato Jr. for you. Alex Rocco, remember him? Ah, uh, Mo Green and the Godfather. He was born this day, 1936. Sadly passed away just last year, as we all know, at the age of 79 years old. Alex Rocco, phenomenal actor. Joss Ackland. Uh, remember him in uh, Lethal Weapon? Lethal Weapon 2, I think it was. He was a real asshole from from um, South Africa with the Cougarons. Yeah, Joss Ackland. He was the main villain in that movie. He, in all reality, he's actually a very nice guy and does a lot of charity work. And you know what? Like Tempest Storm, he's 88 years old today. Awesome stuff. Joss Ackland, an absolute class act. But boy, does he play a nasty villain. I know, that ain't nasty. <laughs> it's, I just feel nasty holding it, that's all. I'm holding the phone. I mean, the uh, iPod. I'm not holding that. Arr, good God. Jessica Long. Beautiful, um, oh, what do they call it, um, Paralympics, uh, she, she had her legs amputated when she was 18 months old, she is a Russian-born swimmer, and a true rags to riches story, folks, she was given up for adoption, and, uh, she ended up getting prosthetic legs, grew up in, uh, Maryland, uh, check out the, um, check out the, uh, Documentary on her, Long Way Home, amazing story for an amazing lady, Jessica Long, 24 years old today, and a true success. Very proud of her. Awesome story. I watched that myself, and I was blown away. I really was. And uh, finally, the late, great jazz legend, badass Jimmy Dorsey. Of course, um, the brother of Tommy Dorsey, another great, late, great jazz legend. Uh, Jimmy Dorsey, born in 1904, passed away in 1957, just a year after his brother Tommy did. They both passed away awfully young. So, Jimmy and Tommy Dorsey, absolute icons. There you go, folks. Antonio Sabato Jr., again, you're hugging a day 
on Beer and Song today. We wanted to make a special for Leap Year. And uh, Antonio Sabato Jr. being a Leap Year baby, I think it's the right thing to do. And I think you'll agree with me on that. So, I hope. If not, sorry folks. Can't please everyone, no matter how hard I try. So, let's drink. Yeah, I grabbed a few extra pictures. Oh, God, I feel gay holding this. I do. <laughs> Antonio Sabato Jr. for all of you. Because we wanted to make this show special. Awesome. Wicked awesome. I'm with him on that. There you go, folks. Antonio Sabato Jr. Again, your hug of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Hell yeah. Now it's time to go back to September 18th, 1933 for this one. Again, Buddy Moss. The song is called... Um, can't use you no more. The first take of the song, Can't Use You No More. Buddy Moss, only 19 years old, as we bring out an icon, probably one of the most famous burlesque queens in history, if not the most famous, the legendary fiery redhead Tempest Storm. She's been taking them clothes off since the early 50s. Wowing audiences, wowing generations. Look at her. That's her nowadays, folks. Whoa, look at her back then. Good girl. She got the guns and the cannons. <laughs> Love that picture right there. That's epic. That's awesome. Now watch out. I'm going to give you a heads up. There will be one picture of her with bare nipples. So... Kids may not want to see it. They probably shouldn't be watching this anyway with those with sensitive eyes. I don't believe in such shit, person. Hey, I understand. 1980. Michael Bracey ends 55, uh, 59 hours and 55 minutes trapped in an elevator in jolly old England. Can you imagine being trapped in an elevator for two and a half days? Maybe you have love in an elevator. Aerosmith. Oh, I say 1965. Wow. I love that picture. I do. Why is that 1965? Sorry for the interruption. Frank Rugani, R-U-G-A-N-I. Frank Rugani sets a badminton shuttlecock distance record. 24.3 meters, basically over 75 feet, folks. It's a long way for a shuttlecock to travel. Why is that 1965 as well? North Carolina high school basketball teams play to a 56 to 54 um, score. But the key was 13 overtimes. And he still ain't scored that much. Wow. Oh, I say 1960. Phenomenal comic that I remember growing up reading all the time. Bill Keen's Family Circus. Cartoon strip debuts. Look out! Bare boobies! Cannons. Jones. Oh, I say also in 1960. Like I said earlier, the first Playboy Club featuring the Playboy Bunnies. Opens in Chicago, Illinois. On this day, also in 1960, KRET TV, Channel 23, Richardson, Yeehaw, Texas, PBS affiliate begins broadcasting. Sadly, they stopped broadcasting August 31st, 1970. It was the only TV station ever that began broadcasting on a leap year. On a leap year day. How about that? On this day, 1940, the one that defied the odds. Only, well, um, Gone with the Wind wins eight Oscars. That wasn't the shocker. The shocker was Hattie McDaniel became the first black woman to win an Oscar. That was huge in a very racist era of Hollywood and uh, the South. Hattie McDaniel, way to go. Wicked awesome job. She earned it. There's no question about that. Uh, Odyssey 1932, a failed coup attempt by fascist Lapua movement in Finland. I don't even know why I kept that, but... Ah, good, it failed! Good. Um, on this day in 1908, man, she's great, Dutch scientists produce solid helium. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> oh, man. On this day in 1880, Gotthard Railway Tunnel, probably Gothard pronounced, G-O-T-T-H-A-R-D, I like saying Gotthard. <laughs> Gothard Railway, Railway Tunnel, between, that'll get you hard. Uh, between Switzerland and Italy completed. And finally on this day in 1692, Sarah Good and Tituba, emphasis on the tit, an Indian servant, are both accused of witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts. Yippers. Folks, 
an iconic, legendary, badass babe of the day on beer and song today. We got a lot of beer to slam home. So we're taking it at two gulps. Empty. It's the brain cells of an average Los Angeles Lakers fan. There you go. 88 and still looking great. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I win to do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink. Or you might kill yourself. Or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is being a fan of Justine. Oh, I should have been swallowed because I'm such a little schlepper and a douche. No shay are you little bitch. Beaver. But what's up in that door is men side women. Or animal abuse. Or racism. Or people watch on bets. Or fake friends. Or anybody that sports friends was a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Or ISIS. Arr. Things like that are just plain stupid. And that they deserve a big fat. GFY. First of all, I'll see you all in March. See you next month. Tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 Mustache Madness.